Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. Here, park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Hey. How can I help you? Your silvery beams will bring love dreams. The license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. By the silvery. There you go. Give her a couple of. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Manila in the Philippines. United States troops fighting alongside local guerrilla forces have begun Pick taking back the Any Pacific color. nation's capital from its Japanese captors. U.S. forces have completely encircled the sprawling city and are now facing a Japanese occupation force estimated to be 20,000 Are you looking for a new strong. set of wheels? Early Take reports your pick, have pal. already indicated that this could be one of the bloodiest battles yet seen in the Pacific. More on this story as the information comes in and, hopefully, the Japanese are pushed out of Manila. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Bring it by any time. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw so him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. You look good, crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? Want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, don't I? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Mike's junkyard, there. Just drive through the gate. Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? If they follow you here, I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat! I paid a fortune for this thing! 
All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days Christ. plenty, and who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coupe today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go. on Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this. Just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Oh, shit. Did I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Hey, Tommy, can I bum a smoke? Sure. Here, have a big break cigarette. All right. Go right up here. <sighs> wow. These big break whites sure are light. Thanks a bunch. So how's it feel to be no back? Problem, Good. No problem, feel a lot better with some money on Hey, whites. what's the rush? Break Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Reds, Get the fuck out of here. Nah, I was just fucking with it all. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell did that happen? All the movies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. you only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that thing. Hit the run driver. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Take a left up here. Oh, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day and he's too good for his old neighbor. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shut. It'll be years before I can afford a place like this. <laughs> you got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna help you change that. Roosevelt returned to the White House today. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Hey! Hey, 
what you doing, motherfucker? Hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where'd the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. 
stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Highway, Vito. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I lived through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track, and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. A lousy ten bucks to beat that shit. Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. That Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? You're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. 